Heading into Friday's game against Augury Sims with a 3-2 record, the Mayo Thunderbolts are anticipating a close game after last year's 62-54 loss to the Wolverines. Head coach Calvin Fox expects a battle out on the field. We lost the game by eight, so you give us another possession last year, you could have tied the ball game or, or who knows, you know. One of those games that could have went a bunch of different directions, you know, it's just... High school football. <laughs> Aside from Coach Fox, the Thunderbolts players like senior running back Gage Long understand that Friday's game will be quite the showdown. Yeah, Gray's a very good team. They're a good running team. They're tough. They're, they got some big boys and I know it's not going to be easy, but I know our offense is good and strong. With a 4-1 and one record so far, the Wolverines are focused on improving the details. Head coach Brian Sanchez has his players perfecting their games ahead of Friday's matchup. Uh, we've put forth a lot of effort this year, um, you know, to strengthen the defense. Um, you know, we, we still score a lot of points, but we, um, you know, we keep a lot of points off the board. You know, we make good plays when we need to. Um, you know, that's been our strong suit this year is, is our defense as opposed to um, just being such a high-powered offense. As the Wolverines adjust to Coach Sanchez's game plan, players like senior running back Keegan Bender understand why practices have changed for the Mayo game. We're changing a few things because they run a little bit different than everybody else. They're more of a pass base and we've been playing a lot of run teams. The Wolverines host the Mayo Thunderbolts this Friday, kicking off at 7 p.m. WBKB Sports, Isabella Shelton.